Hello friends, in this presentation we will solve one more question asked in gate and the concept involved in this question is pointers and let me start with the main function. We have a variable c and we have a star b and double star a. We know that star b is a pointer variable and star double star a. So whenever if you find two stars that means that it is a double pointer. What is the purpose of a double pointer? A double pointer is capable of storing the address of the pointer itself, some other pointer. Generally pointers store the address of ordinary variables. But what if, if you want to store the address of the pointer itself, then we need to identify with the help of double pointers. Only a double pointer is capable of storing a address of a pointer. If you want to store the address of a, a double pointer, then you should do declare triple pointer like that. Okay, so we have C, we have B and we have A. So it is pointer variable and this is a, a double pointer variable. and what is the address of C? I will assume the address of C as 1000. I will assume address of B as 2000. And I will assume address of A as 3000. Now, below that I will write the values. Below that I will write the values. C value is 4. B equal to address of C. So that means star B will contain value th as 1000 because it is a pointer. Double pointer is containing the address of uh, B. That is, what is address of B? 2000. Right. These are addresses and A equal to address of B. What is address of B? That is 2000. Okay. These are values of C, B and A. And these are addresses of A, C, B and A. Okay. So double pointer will contain the address of single pointer. A single pointer will contain address of an ordinary variable. Now I am calling the function with f of C, B, A. That means f of what is C? C is 4. And what is B? B is nothing but 1000. The address of C. What is A? A is nothing but 2000, the address of B. So that will be passed to x star py and star ppy. And now py will contain the address 1000 and ppy will contain address 2000 and x will contain the value 4. Okay. So let me write about x and also py and ppy. What is py? Assume the address of x is 4000 and the address of py is 5000 and the address of ppy is 6000. So these addresses are not relevant but because of some and I'm storing the values as of x as 4 and py as 1000 and ppy as 2000. That's what star py and star ppy means. So you are, you are sending the address of a double pointer then you must declare a double pointer in the function definition as well. Okay. Now we have y and we have z. So address of y and z are not that relevant. What is star ppy? Star ppy plus equal to 1. So what is star ppy uh, which means ppy star ppy equal to star ppy plus 1. First let me find out what is star ppy. Star ppy star star ppy sorry it's not star ppy it is star star ppy so what is star star ppy so i will write this star star ppy as something like this first what is ppy ppy is nothing but 2000 the value present in ppy is 2000 so i will write 2000 okay now i will dereference the value what is present in st uh, what is present in uh, 2000 that is this is pointing to the location value this is pointing to the value present in the location 2000 that is nothing but 1000 okay so what is present in uh, 1000 that is representing the address c that is nothing but 4 so star ppy is nothing but the value c indirectly with the help of double pointer i am dereferencing to c only okay so that means c equal to c plus 1 is nothing but this is simply i can write as c equal to c plus 1 that is nothing but phi. Now I will update the value as phi. Now z equal to star ppy. As you all uh, already know, what is z? Uh, sorry, what is star ppy? Star ppy is nothing but c. So c is nothing but phi. That means it is pointing to the address 1000. So that is nothing but value phi. And I will store phi in the, uh, in this as well. Which is simply nothing but z equal to c. Okay. Star py plus equal to star py. What is star py? It is nothing but star of py. What is the value of py? 1000. Okay. And what is the value that is pointing to the 1000? That is nothing but c which is now phi. Okay. Now star py equal to 2 in the sense which is nothing but again will also represent c itself. So now c will be updated to 7. That is 
z uh, z equal to c this one okay so c equal to c plus 2 now c will be 7 uh, right now right now c will be 7 because of that statement now y equal to star py y equal to star p as we already know star p y represents c now i am changing y as also to 7 because c is 7 star p y is pointing to c so y equal to star p y is nothing but 7 now x plus equal to 3 x value is 4 right now okay so x equal to x plus 3 means 4 x equal to 4 plus 3 which is nothing but 7 return of x plus y plus z finally the value of x is 7 and the value of y is 7 and the value of z is 5 okay so x plus y plus z 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 5 19 so the function is going to return the value 19 so if you print f of 4 comma 1000 comma 2000 then the output would be 19 so only thing that you should be careful is that maintain a neat spaces for all the variables don't confuse between single pointer and double pointer so you should know how you should uh, dereference the double pointer so first refers to the double pointer address and then to the single pointer then you can uh, refer to that particular value that is the only thing that you should know here so let me compile this code for you so option b is the correct answer that is option b 19 okay friends this is it for now and thank you for watching this presentation see you in the next session